Hello everyone, and welcome to an arena run in Hearthstone. I don't know. That's what it is. Today I'm going to be playing a... let's see. I have my least favorite three options. Because I usually like to play a rogue, mage, and uh, warriors, but... Let's see how a warlock will go. Bad card. Very bad card. Never give your opponent cards. Um, Sunwalker over Void Terror. Three drop or a one drop? We'll take the three drop. Yeti. Smith is decent. Pain is decent. Let's go Pain. Someone Champion. Cleric or the Succubus. Cleric, because I don't have any card draw yet. Hmm. Need a spell to clear. Demon fire. Don't have any demons yet. Strike my minion or void terror, void terror is better in that situation. Don't have any pirates. I might as well take this because. Taking all means off the board is not necessary. Inventor, card draw, and damage, mechanic. Hmm. Got a lot of threes, so no go. So Oasis. Void Collar, Death Rattle, pull a random thing in your hand. From your hand into the better one. Could be pretty decent, could also not be pretty decent, but there's nothing really better to pick. Another Crusader. Need some five cards and some ones and twos. Threes I am getting tired of seeing. Twos. Another Sunwalker or Ancient Mage. No Sunwalker. Sergeant or Hellfire. Sergeant. Very nice card. Harpy. Ooh, yes, Harpy. I've done five drops. Playing a good turn one. Archer, decent turn one. Not turn one, not decent. Board clear. Void caller again. Mortal coil or raging organ. I have two cards that would go with this. I think that would be decent. Hmm. I think I go for Bloodman. Smith or Inventor. I need a five drop. I don't need a 5 drop, it's better to have them though. No damage. Don't have any spells, but neither of these guys are really good. So. Uh, let's see how it goes. The curve wasn't that great, but there's a lot of potential for mid game, so we'll see how it goes. And here we go. I will fight with honor. Your soul shall be mine. Hmm. One, two, three. Maybe debatable, we'll see. Very nice, though. Interesting. If he punches it, then he's gonna be in a bad situation. Well, actually, not really. Probably better off punching it. Honestly, I think I'm better off board clear on the dude, but I really want to even fire this. You just go for face. But you could always have. Nah. I like this play better. It's gonna take two hits from that, so it's okay. 
It's got some value out of it. Plus, next turn, you just get the Brother Fairy Dragon. Or extra other sensing, excuse me. And so I could use a few demons. They have pretty good uh, means of getting a flame out without using the Royal Cry. Hmm. I never had to play the Void Call before. I don't think I've ever seen it in the game either. There was no wrong order at that, by the way. For anyone who's actually wondering. Void caller or mechanic? Mechanic. Puts more cards in the field. Makes him happy to trade the 1-1 one, one into a 2-1. Okay with that. With this hand. Oh? Keeping a guy on the board means he wants to... Hmm. Interesting. Make that a 5-6. Still makes it kind of not kill anything. Best turn here. Is this... A really annoying card to deal with in arena. Because you don't really have to, you don't think about playing around it. Plus, it's a 4 6, so not many things can kill it by themselves without being high value. Let me be. Interesting. Well played, sir. This, however, does now get value from the Demon Fire. I'm going to pray that he does not have a blessing of might in hand, because that would be very upsetting. Consecration would be not bad here for him either. However, he gets to put the flame of them. Which is not the best deal, but that's a pretty scary turn. Do I trade in, put the on the field? Sounds about right. Yes, value him. Either way, I probably should have played Moral Coil first, but new mistakes. Job's done. 7 to 5, or 8 to 5 actually. Not looking good for me, but he's got a lot of damage on his face. Hmm. Not over yet. It's a big chance he has a consecration in there. But at this point. Punch it with a true solver and still keep the card in it. Never mind. You can still punch this with a true solver. Okay, that makes sense too. Makes a lot more sense actually, now that I think about it. Turn to turn, for the Yeti, Saganda. 
Azure Drake in Arena with the Paladin concerns me. Consecration can do 3 damage, and we're about to do 4. That's an interesting choice. I can't kill it though. Not right away. And I still can't kill it. It's a shame. Do I left tap? Take 8. No. 14. I feel like it's not an answer. I feel like I should never do that. Just let him take off my Audi and make him feel happy about that. Not the best arena made deck, but. You can see where Cat is valuing. He's looking for a lethal right now. If he draws a blessing of my is lethal. That's pretty much the only card I couldn't play around. They're very valuable in Fury. I've not had many valuable in Fury cards. Ha! <laughs> Lovely for him. Very useless card. Could have gotten my giant though. Might as well put it all on the board, right? Mini, 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 Drake. It's a hard choice between Drake and Alkaloid, but at this point, I don't think hard drives can help me. Oh no, he's gonna destroy everything. Hey, that's actually decent. Makes it almost useful because he can still trade pretty easily into that. 7 damage, 11 damage. You can probably just go and brush my face down at this point. Be better off doing that. Maybe. He doesn't know what I have in my hand, of course. It's not that great of a card. It would be great if he does not attack me. However, I could still not finish him off with this. That's why he can throw my ward easily. Yeah. That was somewhat poorly. No, it's not. Okay, because it was a 6 up, sorry. Alright, where's my swipe? Nope. 8, 7, 8. Math is hard. 7, 11, 12. It's probably over, but I'm just gonna have to assume that it's not. So, if this game goes on longer, I've got a beast in my I got a beast. I'm a stone champion. You bastard. That's just taking rather long. Then again, I'm finally dragging it out. It's five cards to eight. Ah, what am I doing? Right click the explosion. Let's see. Say well played or BM them if you wish. Not the best first game, not the worst first game. Definitely see that my deck is lacking card draw. 
which is probably a bad sign. That could be a decent combo. Then again, so can sheep. Sheep is a good combo as well. But with this, like, you gotta play ballsy. It's a really crappy made siege cannon or catapult. Seems like this fairy dragon is going to be giving them problems though, because mages don't have any. Real means of dealing with a thing that's near the spells, because they can't even ping it off in two turns. So I might just leave the Void Terror in my hand for later. I'll just keep punching the face. Okay, that's value. Hmm. Unfortunate. Looks like I'm going to make it a 3 3, but it's really not that worth it. He's definitely going to get rid of that. I'm not sure how he's going to get rid of that questing. Honestly, a frostbolt would be not bad. Or you can leave it up and see what happens, but Questing plus Void Terror is a very scary combo. Go ahead and slide. Oh. Oh, that's how he's gonna do that. Interesting. That's are we ready to go about it? Do you have an answer for the fairy dragon next turn? It's really weird. Yeah, have bracers. Got like. Something around his wrists. His paw wrists. It's a panther though. Not a tame one. That's not a druid. But it looks like it has druid markings, which is weird. You have druid markings? You a druid turtle? Do not. You're not a druid cow, are you? Cow druid. Same thing. It's not like a shadow ball, it looks like a shadow laser. Shooting lasers from his hands, that'd be awesome. Would that hurt? Would you feel cold or warm? It's kind of weird. There you go. Yeah, I kind of got to do this. I could soul fire it, but that'd be scary to lose all this stuff. Mole gem would be very nice to keep. 
Smith is still a useful card. Four six. Oh. Good thing I have a Sunwalker. Or I can soul fire and mortal coil it. But what if I soul fire the mortal coil? It would be really awkward. Yeah, no, this is a better idea. Can you imagine though? Soul firing a mortal coil that you're gonna use to make it that turn. You don't worry situation are they? I was wondering why he wasn't doing it. Pretty well played. You can still kill the turtle. Didn't matter which turn. Okay, whatever. Didn't matter which turn he used it on. Hmm. To so use the giant or to not use the giant? I feel like I have to get rid of the harpy no matter what I do this turn, so. Toss up the giant. Worst case scenario, I lose the void terror, the spiteful, or actually, the worst case scenario, I lose my champion or my mortal coil. Okay, that's fine. If anything, that's okay. And might as well keep the minion on the board. Make him pick something. He doesn't pick that. So he can come a 9 9 next turn. Near entity? Question mark. Or vaporize. Eight, six damage. Seven damage. Counter spell? No. Okay, so it's not gonna have a demon, so this is okay. Vaporize is attack. Okay. Hmm. I forget which one Vaporize does. Okay. He's baiting me into the Dancing Swords, but I kind of have to. Oh? Okay. So Vaporize is either to the face, or that's an Ice Barrier, or Ice Block. Either way, I'm not like tapping anymore. Too dangerous. This is a good playing strike material, though. However, I can play my other Void Collar with that Void Collar being full, which is ironic. Like I don't have any taunts, so this is kind of awkward, but. Uh, da, 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 da. Because why not put the big guy out in the field? And then give him an acolyte. Because acolytes are scary. He doesn't know I don't have any demons in my hand, so he might be debating whether he should kill the Void Terror or not. Void Caller, excuse me. Nope, he didn't even question it. Lucky for him, he doesn't have to deal with anything on the board. If I had a second soul in this group, that would be great, but I do not. Vaporize? Okay, question mark? Obviously. Let's look at the card draw. That is a no. Yay. No. no reason to keep that in the field. It's a pretty long drawn out game. Again, just like the last one, sorry guys. It's 
So that's a fireball. That's still not going to help me though, because if it is a fireball, even if it's a frost bolt, I still lose. So and that doesn't help. And that just actually helps him a lot more. Um, might as well try. Why not? If I lost, I'm gonna lose in fashion. In fashion? In style? Yes, in style. Sorry. And I have to win this next turn, so I mean, that's probably the best way I could have done it. 9, 10, 11. It's 20. I think. I'm not good at math. That's 12. Okay. So he doesn't have lethal. That's good to know. However, this card can be a threat. It's good. He couldn't do lethal. That means it doesn't really matter which order I do that. This attack in, but still would like to keep that on the board. A pyro blast would win in the game. Everything else, not so much. Not even like, yeah. All right, I think I'm gonna cut this into segments because these games are really long. So I'll see you guys in the next video.